Coming up in this video, how to make your default audio module podcast ready. This video is part of the five part mini series on how to customize DV's audio module. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me show you what the end result is going to be. This is the final design we're aiming for, but as you can see, we've chosen a healthy theme, but you can customize this to whatever your theme is. To accomplish this design, we're gonna need a few design assets. Now, the first one is a background image, which is 1920 by 1280 pixels, a podcast cover image, which is 600 by 600, and make sure you add the podcast title in the cover image. We also need the CSS code. Now all these images and the CSS code can be found in the blog post, which I'll link in the show notes below. Finally, we're going to need an MP3 audio file, which will be your actual podcast file. So make sure it's the .mp3, otherwise it doesn't work. All right, so let's dive in, let's get started. Okay, so I'm in my admin dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to add a new page. So I'm going to come here to pages and then click on add new. We're going to call this page Audio 3. And then I'm going to click on Use the DV Builder. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to add a background image. So I'm going to go to the settings and then I'm going to click on Upload an Image. So I have my image installed. So I'm just going to click on this image and then set it as a background. Okay, so I'm going to click on Save and Exit. Next, we need to go into the Role Module settings. And then here we need to set the custom width to 50%. So change this unit from pixels to percentage, and then we're going to change this to 50. And then we're going to save and exit. Now we need to add the columns. So for this, we need to add a single column with an audio module. So I'm going to click on the audio module. And then this is where now you need to upload your uh, MP3 file. So I'm going to click on that and then add my audio file. Okay, so I'm going to add my title. And then I'm going to add the artist name. And then I'm going to finally add the album name. Okay, so now we need to add some styling. So on the advanced design settings, we need to add the background color. Now for this to really work, we need this green color, which pretty much goes with our theme. So I have the RGBA color, so I'm just gonna paste it right here. So now that we have our background color, the next part is to change the title font. So by default, the font doesn't really work with the theme because our theme is more organic. So the font we need here is so there's something that's similar to a handwritten font and the font we're going to use here is called Pacifico. So let's do a quick preview so I can show you what that looks like. So you can see here it has that organic feel which goes with the theme of what we're trying to design. So next we're going to add a background to the player. So we're going to go into the custom CSS and in the main element we're going to paste this code. So this just adds a box shadow of about five pixels and that's the color. So let's do a quick preview again. So we can see here we have this beautiful drop shadow. Finally, we need to add the audio cover art and the CSS. So we're gonna first paste the CSS here, and then we're gonna go into the general settings and make sure we add the cover art from here. So I have my cover art. I'm gonna set it as an image. So what that CSS code does is it creates this circle uh, design, which makes it really stand out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and exit. So pretty much this is um, how we put this design together. So just to uh, make sure, I'm just gonna publish this and make sure that uh, it looks the way we want it to. So I'm gonna click on view page and there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.